Welcome back. And if you tuned in late, we are discussing an international program called 40 Days for Life. And it's happening right here where we are. And uh, Taylor Smith is here as a, and she is a volunteer and a prayer partner. And uh, Valerie Baronkin is here and she has been the coordinator for right here in the upstate. And we're talking about abortions and, and uh, the effects of abortion and where we are now. And I want to ask you, Valerie, to please explain what our law says. Where do we stand with the abortion issue in the United States and in our state? Um, well, I'm glad you asked, Peggy, because um, it is legal for anyone to, termin to terminate their pregnancy at any time throughout the nine months of pregnancy until the day they deliver, they can terminate that pregnancy and have an abortion. So you can have an abortion even though the child could survive outside the womb. Absolutely. And in okay. fact, there is a bill that just was passed by the House, the South Carolina House yesterday uh, called the 20-week pain capable bill uh, where we have shown that, um, I shouldn't say we, scientists Science, have shown yeah. that a baby can feel pain at 20 weeks. And mm -hmm. you're talking about a baby that can survive outside of the womb at 20 weeks. Babies have survived being, yeah. being yeah. you know, uh, mm -hmm. being delivered at that time. And um, so it has passed the South Carolina House. It's also been passed in many states around the nation. And we're looking forward to the uh, South Carolina Senate uh, reviewing this bill and, and hopefully well, passing bless that them into for what law they're here trying in South to Carolina. Do. And at Absolutely. least, may, see, I've got the pay. I just happen to have the newspaper clipping <laughs> right here from the newspaper yesterday. Yeah. And they did do that. And, and uh, they need to be con commended for investigating and sta taking a stand anyway. Right. Yeah. And, and I'd also like to mention a, a lot of the other, South Carolina Citizens for Life, which um, is uh, a, a group of very, um, we're, we're all members of that as well, but they have passed um, many, many pieces of legislation uh, over the past uh, 20 years or so that have actually decreased ab abortion um, in our state. And so we can see a decrease um, in the number of abortions. Um, you know, it was legalized in 73, gained a lot of momentum and, and lots and lots of babies. There's still in South Carolina over 8,000 babies that die um, every week. Every week? Woo! Wait in a South Carolina? Am I saying that wrong? <laughs> I think I'm saying oh, that wrong. Valerie. There is, no, you're right. It's, there's 50, uh, 50 so abortions in Greenville every week. Okay. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I mean, so that's probably a yearly figure. I apologize. And, I oh, just, no. So, yes. so uh, that's still a great, a great number. Now, it is, it's a huge number. Okay. And, and uh, uh, we have one abortion clinic in operation legally in Greenville. Yes. And, and there are several, I guess, throughout the state. And I don't know about North Carolina and Georgia, but they're, they're there. They are there. Okay. Now, I want to ask about this law that I believe is on the books that everybody who goes in, every woman who goes in to have an abortion has to be shown a video of the fetus in the womb. Mm -hmm. Now, that is a law. Am, am I right? Yes. It, and it all depends on how it's presented to the woman. We have shown uh, that statistics, if a woman can see the baby in the womb, that uh, she will change her mind. She can actually see that it's a baby. I mean, there's yeah. no mistaking uh, when you see an ultrasound uh, of that baby that, that it is a life and it's, you know, kicking and moving and, and um so anyway, there is a, a good statistic. I don't have that on the top of my head no, but here. That, of, that law does of, exist. It does exist, but I also will mention that it's how it's presented. So when a woman goes into the abortion clinic, um, if she is presented, do you want to see the ultrasound of the baby? It's probably not, it's probably not phrased that way, um, and she does not have to look at the ultrasound. No, they either. can't make her look. They cannot but, make but her But they do look. show it. If she would like to see it, they will turn the screen and let her see the baby. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That, that's, yeah. And does that sometimes cause? Sometimes it does cause women to change their mind, and that's why um, that's why we fought so hard for that for that bill to pass. And okay. South Carolina is, um, you know, there's some legislators that are not uh, pro-life, mm -hmm. um, but there are quite a few. In fact, the uh, pain capable bill as as weird as this may sound, actually will be a battle in the Senate. Mm -hmm. um, the House, it was, uh, it was approved overwhelmingly, but we do expect that um, there will be a lot of senators that will, even though they can see the baby, in fact, we have um, um, pictures of the baby of how big the baby actually is. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good sized baby at 20 weeks and fully formed and fully sucking and his thumb. Is, and, and the heart is beating? Oh, the heart's the heart beating at, at three weeks. I mean, yeah. it's just, um, and so, you know, with that, and, and they can actually see that the baby can feel pain. In fact, they won't even, some um, doctors are now operating on babies inside the womb if they find birth defects to correct some of those birth defects early. And um, they are yeah, the baby's actually has giving done some wonderful oh, things. Absolutely, yeah. but the baby is given anesthesia because it's proven that they can feel pain. I did not know that. Yes. Amazing. All right, now Valerie, you all have gotten a lot of things together, and we want people to know about it. Um, the twenty-first of February, Saturday. Mm -hmm. is like a kickoff or so it would tell us about it. We'll have a kickoff rally and there'll be lots of people there. Uh, we'll have actually a young woman who is trying to start a home for women in crisis pregnancies. She'll be there to give an update on uh, what's going on with that home and uh, then we'll also be giving people a legislative update and then we'll have some music and prayer um, that's wonderful. And, when, yeah. and that's on a Saturday. And anybody's Saturday. welcome. Where, everybody's where does welcome. this occur? It's going to be outside the Grove Road uh, Abortion Clinic, okay. which is uh, 1142 okay, Grove Road. So it's Road. on Grove Road in Greenville, fairly near the hospital. Greenville Hospital. So, so if you, maybe a mile out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. And of course, anybody who really wants to get involved or find out more with that phone number, and you might want to make a note of it. Now, so anybody's welcome, and it'll be a time of joy as well, and prayer and thanksgiving, and okay. And letting people know more about the campaign and how right. they can get involved. Now, that yeah. is the 21st on mm -hmm. a Saturday morning at 930. Yes. Now, you have other things happening in March. That's correct. Uh, we are thrilled that the uh, national, national Outreach Director for 40 Days for Life will be coming to South Carolina. Now he is the director for all of North America. Yes. Okay. Um, and his name is Steve Carlin. And he is going to come and speak? He's going to come and speak on the evening of March 9th. All right. And that's at 6, 6 p.m. Okay. at the same place right outside the okay. abortion clinic right. at Grove Road. And uh, so we'll have some prayer and he'll speak and he'll let everybody know what's been going on around the nation and, uh, well, around North America, actually. Um, and is there a fee for that or is there, free? Oh, no, there's all no right. fee. So all of your events are open to the public and nobody has to spend money to come. Right. If they want to know what's going on. Right. It's a beautiful event. It's, yeah. it's a candlelight vigil and okay. beautiful, beautiful music. Usually we have, you know, um, representatives from the... Latino community, the Vietnam community. Okay. So, it's, so a, it's a mixture it's of quite everybody. A it's a All beautiful right. time. Mm -hmm. Now, you have a closing celebration on March the 28th. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. That also, um, and that is, um, we're, we're waiting for a little bit warmer weather. No, let's um, hope so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we will actually have that on the lawn across from the abortion clinic. Right. The people that live there are uh, very pro-life and have allowed us to use their property. Um, there's two acres there. There'll be bands. We'll actually have a band and we'll have several speakers. And we'll also have an opportunity for people to hear about the miracles that the prayers have um, yielded through these 40 days. And uh, we did this the last 40 days campaign in the fall. And it was absolutely wonderful to hear the miracles that actually happened throughout the 40 days. People that have stopped, people that had 
um, pulled into the abortion clinic, but then because somebody was out there praying, changed their mind and came back to thank us. There were people that um, actually did change their mind through the 40 days. Um, there were people that we just helped, you know, that needed some help. In fact, Taylor was very involved with a Hispanic woman who um, had uh, really had nothing, and uh, she, she and just, others had... She had just arrived from maybe, I, I don't know, maybe Guatemala, I can't remember now, but uh, she came, they, they came up and they, and they stopped, and we went over and spoke to them, and uh, she was coming, she, she had been directed to the abortion clinic to get, um, get ready to have this baby. She was ready to deliver Ready to deliver, yeah, and uh, and we said, well, if you go right here to the Piedmont Women's Center, they will they will they will do an they'll do everything that you need done, and so so we did talk her and her friend into coming out and going around, and then we went in to the center with her and uh, made sure that any in, that there were any fees anything yeah. like that incurred. We, we would we would see to it that they were taken care of and and um, as a matter of fact uh, another one of the the volunteers that was um, in prayer there that day uh, gathered clothing for the baby oh. and and uh, clothing so, for the mother everything so yeah. it was it was a wonderful wonderful morning well, what you are doing we want everybody to know this is not one church one denomination mm -hmm. it's everybody. And if maybe you're not able to attend any of these things, but you can still pray, pray. wherever you are. Yeah. And, uh, and that you're inviting people and, and asking people mm -hmm. for support, for prayer. Yeah, and it's a beautiful, beautiful thing that you're doing. And I, when I think about all that has gone into this, it's amazing. 40 days for life. And I'll keep the information here if you didn't get it. But it, there is a local phone number, which is 864-329-0044. Um, Couldn't be easier. And they, you can find out all the things that, that will be going on, and, um, and you can lend your support with prayer. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you Bless for, thank you for so what much. you're doing. Thank you so much. And wherever you are, we wish you joy. And we'll see you next time.